how many tons in a pound? Give it some thought. This is a trick question. How many tons in a pound? Well, the answer is actually four. Four different units of measurement that are commonly called a ton. This is just one of the many confusing measurements that often get used in ship design. And using the wrong unit can mean the difference of thousands of kilograms. So it's important to get your units right. Let's take five minutes and get some clarity on the esoteric measurements of ship design. Would you prefer the long ton, the short ton, the metric ton, or tonnage? Actually, no, I ignore tonnage for now, which is not a unit of mass. We'll come back to that one later. I'm going to overemphasize the pronunciation of these words to try and distinguish between the different types of ton. So the tonny would be a metric ton, the ton would be a long ton, and ton would be a short ton. I'm no historian, but I think that the long ton, the ton, came first, measuring 2,240 pounds. Well, somebody decided that they preferred round numbers, and they shortened that down to a short ton, something measuring 2,000 pounds. Next, the metric system tried to introduce order. It brought the metric tonny, which was only partially successful in the maritime industry. If you look at the table below, it shows the common units of measurement for the different forms of ton. Now pay careful attention to the abbreviations when distinguishing between different forms of measurement. As you can see, the pronunciation of these words may sound very similar, but the actual units of measurement are quite different when you start talking about thousands of tonnies. Oh, and a shout out to all the civil engineers in the world. Uh, they also created the unit of the kilopound which is just a thousand pounds. So I think that was the hybrid of somebody saying they really liked the metric idea of multiply by 10 or by a thousand in this case, but they still wanted to use pounds. That's a weird one. You mostly just see it with civil engineering. Now, a side note for everybody out there that it pays careful attention to measurement systems. Pounds and kilograms do not actually measure the same thing. Kilograms measure the mass of an object. Pounds measure the weight, which is the force of Earth's gravity as it pulls on the mass of that object. For some engineering calculations, this is a critical difference in the two systems of measurement. Let's talk about the tonnage in the room. The most common mistake that I see people make is mistaking tonnage. Tonnage does not measure weight or mass. I really wish they had picked a different word from when they invented taxes. Because tonnage bears more similarity to your taxable income than it does to a unit of mass. It has no correlation to physical mass. In fact, the first unit of tonnage was a tun, literally a large cask used to transport wine. At first, tonnage was easy. Count up the wine casks on board that ship, and that's your tonnage. Then you can assign your taxation, your port dues, and all that based upon the tonnage, which is what we primarily use tonnage for, all of the legal matters. But then the system expanded beyond carrying just wine. And then over many decades, some people tried to cheat the system. And flash forward a couple hundred years, the codes have changed and evolved quite a lot. And tonnage and measurement gets extremely complicated, requiring a specialist with experience working in your specific ed measurement system. Oh yes, there are multiple systems for a tonnage ed measurement. This video is not about tonnage. We're sticking to units of physical measurement here. Look to other videos if you want to understand tonnage. Now let's talk about distance. When measuring length on board a ship, we use reasonable units like meters or feet. But to measure the distance of travel for the ship, the maritime industry uses something called a nautical mile. It's intended to be useful for navigation when looking at nautical charts. You see, a nautical mile is one minute of latitude. That is one sixtieth of a degree of latitude, not longitude. The table below gives the appropriate conversions. And just to catch the landlubbers off guard, 
When mariners speak of distance, they typically just say mile, but usually this implies nautical miles. Keep that in mind. Speed is also complicated because it derives from that measurement of nautical miles. The knot is formally defined as the distance of nautical miles traveled in one hour. In the old days, we actually used to measure that by just throwing a log over the side with a knotted rope and measuring how many knots paid out in a certain time. Today, we have much more precise systems of measurement, but the unit itself has stuck around as the distance of nautical miles in one hour. So to summarize up, remember that tonnage is not a measurement of physical mass. That's the most important thing. Don't tell people their tonnage when they're asking for your displacement. Beyond that, remember to quote the correct unit of measurement. Don't just say a ton. Specify metric ton, long ton, or short ton. Or kilopound if you feel like it. In general, you have to remember that the maritime industry has its own way of doing things, including its own measurements. Don't ignore this. When ships weigh thousands of tons, you really need to know which type of tum. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe for more videos. And did you know that we produce more than just videos at DMS? Check out our website to find more articles, free downloads, and other help with ship design. We offer a host of engineering services for budgets large and small. So check us out to see if we can make your next project easier.